did a time lapse and I was going to continue to do one, but uh, this is the final page, the final lined page of paper journal number 37 that I started back in July of 2015. I didn't write in it every day until January came around and then in January I I did. I put this notebook marker that came with it on January 1st, 2016 and I've written every day in it since. Um, and it's been helpful to write. Um, how much of a difference did that make? Writing every day in my paper journal. Um, well, where was I? I started in July and even writing sporadically, I wrote that much, which is pretty good, right? That's not too bad. I did NaNoWriMo last year again. So this wasn't too bad. A few paste-ins, like I really like that one. Um, you know, I was writing, but not very often. As I said, a couple things going on. But when I hit um, writing every day in July, uh, that made quite a difference. So. That's why people who write every day uh, fill up more paper journals, even if you're a text journaler like I am. I'm a mostly text journaler because uh, you fill more pages. The shortest entry, I think, so far was like sometime in February where I was, I wrote two lines. But even that, that kept the streak going. And I'm glad for that because why did I think it was the 17th? It wasn't, but it was sometime in February where I wrote like just a couple lines and it was enough to keep me going. I've inserted my first uh, Instamax Fujifilm Instax, Instamax Mini or whatever the heck. I'm not saying it right. I'm a bit garbled. I've taken, I'm on antibiotics. And I've also taken my evening anti-anxiety meds. So, yeah, this was on the 1st of March. I haven't taken one since because you want to be really particular with film, right, of what you take. And that, and my first photo was with the flash on. I didn't realize I hadn't played with the settings of the camera yet. But still, it's cool, like for the first one. So I'll be putting, I think, one of these every... I don't know, I could do one for every month. I have a few packs, so I could do one once a month or something, or I don't know, I'll figure it out. But yeah, this has been helpful for me because uh, there's a lot that I've wanted to write about online. Well, not, I haven't wanted to write about it online, so I haven't. And so having this journal has been, it's become more of a confidant again and really helpful for me. That said, I did write in my um, online journal uh, the early mornings yesterday, this morning. So it's still before midnight. And uh, I'd love to have a writing streak of typing 750words.com every day or like and more. You know, once I get going, sometimes I can write over a thousand words or more. I'd like to do that every day. And I'd really like to um, keep writing every day in a paper journal. So I'm going to write the last page of this journal. Um, often I might, like in previous years, put like something here. Um, maybe some like goals or things. I'm not sure what I want to do. I might leave it blank. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this yet. Um, we'll think as we go. So I'm going to write, I'm going to be quiet because I can't put on the music or the vlogs that I would be, I'd either watch vlogs and or listen to music um, interchangeably while I write, but I don't want to be flagged for copyright. So we're just going to, we're just going to write. So because I've already written today, 
I don't have to write Saturday. I just have to write the date like this. This is how I do it. Because, I, because I've written Saturday, March 15th there. So, and the time is now 10.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I don't put EST. Unless I've been traveling. My traveling, I would put like Scotland time, Ireland time, whatever. Um, Toronto time, etc. And saying that it's now 1056, but we're not going to get too, too upset about that. So 300 pages in this lovely journal. And I really liked writing in this journal. I'm going to write that. I really... You're not going to see anything too deep for the last page. It's only at this last page where I'm getting that almost poke your pen through. It's because it's the very last. And by the way, the binding stood up pretty well. Just so you can see. Oh, maybe you're having a hard time. I'm in the dark after all, but here. It's done pretty well. See? Look. It's just the last page that is giving me a little problem. But other than that, it's been perfect to write in. I really liked it. Right. 
right there. So, 300 pages, I could ask, I mean, I could ask, I could write, you know, a 301 or whatever, but I think what I'll do is put, I've done this before, but it's been a while. I could do for the last page something different because I'm not going to do goals but I mean I could do some reflections but I don't really want to dwell on some things and then again it's sometimes good to leave some things behind when you start a fresh journal the last page I'm just winging this sorry guys I'm not um For me usually I would say myself but for me myself and etc environment animals health Oh, there we go. It's 11.05 now. I think I'm going to put that. It's 11.05 now. Maybe I won't put that. Just a second. Two. I didn't make the choice on the date. That's the date when I actually became vegan. <clears throat>
There's definitely challenges to go to veganism. Not in eating, but in like people asking things. And no, it's okay to ask, but like people saying that your choice is wrong when there's so much more wrong, in my opinion, from what I've seen. And, you know, there's worse things for people to attack than somebody deciding to go vegan. But anyway, um, to the last page. Um, it's hard to do when you know the camera's on. Uh, because I don't usually write the last page like this. <sighs> Trying to avoid writing a bit. <laughs> My tummy when he did it. Um
just wrote myself a note. Oh, I could cry. It's now 11, 11 p.m., so make a wish. So that's a different last page than what I've done in recent years. And that is the end of my paper journal. So I know I'm doing this in the dark, guys. Uh, let's, we could try to come into the light, but this, again, is one of my favorite journals I've written in as far as how I've shown it to you. It's the last time I've shown it to you guys. I've turned on the light and stuff, but I would say this was a great, great, great journal. I highly recommend it if you find it. Um... If you're into this size, if you're into this type of thing. So, I'm trying to think of um, what would be a good page. I've already marked off the beginning of the year. So where would I mark as another... Um, good place to mark a journal? Um... I don't know, we'll just do that. So, thanks for watching. You've watched me finish journal number 37. Oh, wait, this is the best part, right? I've changed things, hold on. This is the best part, so here we go. Last entry would be Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. It won't take me as long to finish the next journal if I continue to write every day. Saturday, March. This is what I do with my journals. Saturday, March 12th. Two thousand and sixteen. Thank goodness it didn't take me an entire year to finish this. Journal number thirty seven. I am thirty seven years old right now. And I turned thirty eight in July. So um I'm gonna start my thirty eighth paper journal. Although I started with journal um oh yeah, and in twenty days I turned thirty seven years old. And by chance, I'll be writing in paper journal number 37. So yeah, that's the end of... Um, oh, and I mentioned at the start where I purchased it. I knew... I didn't get a look inside this journal, but knew from the cover and size that I loved it. What a delight to open it up and see these wonderful pages. It could take a long time to fill this one. 300 pages. But I'll enjoy it. It's perfect for right now. Yeah, so there we go. I started out, I was fasting, and now I'm vegan. <laughs> I think vegan has done me much better, actually. So, veganism. But, that's it. So, I'm gonna, I think I'll take an Instagram photo of it being finished. And I'll upload this video. Thanks again for watching. Uh, and to all my... Uh, my to all the fellow journalers out there isn't it isn't it great to have something like this so tangible our lives they mean something to us right now or at least they should oh i've had such a curious dream